Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, we're checking out a new dynamic microphone designed for podcast, broadcast, instrument capture, vocal recording, and more from Universal Audio. Let's get started. This is the Universal Audio SD1 Dynamic Microphone. If this mic looks familiar to you, it's because Universal Audio is offering a fresh spin on sort of an industry standard microphone that you see commonly used for podcasts, for broadcasts, and for vocal recording. The SD1 has a bit smoother sound on the top end. It's still nice and open sounding, has a lot of presence, but it's nice and smooth in that upper mid-range, doesn't get harsh. It also has a nice, full, thick lower mid-range. They've made it a little bit fatter sounding. Works great for, again, spoken word as well as for vocals and on instruments as well. They've also designed the microphone to have less handling noise if you have it on a standard mic stand or on a boom like this. There are two switches on the back of the microphone. One shapes the bottom end response and one shapes the top end response. We'll listen to those just a little bit later. The SD-1 also includes channel presets that you can use in UAD's console software, and these allow you to pull plugins in for different recording applications. And again, we'll take a listen to those in just a second. The SD-1, as I mentioned, is a dynamic microphone, so no phantom power is required. It has a cardioid polar pattern, meaning that it picks up primarily from the front, less from the back and the sides, and it has frequency response from 50 hertz to 16 kilohertz. So what you've been hearing is the SD-1 going straight into my Apollo X4 and then being recorded into my DAW. Those two switches on the back, as I mentioned, shape the sound. The first is a low frequency filter that shapes the sound under 200 hertz. So let's go ahead and engage that. One nice thing with the SD-1 is that those switches are not recessed. You can actually access them and flip them up and down with your fingernail. You don't need a special tool to do that. But you can hear that that 200 hertz filter has really controlled the bottom end of my voice. Now I'll switch that filter off and we'll engage the top boost filter. Now that adds more articulation on the top end. This is with the articulation switch engaged and it's giving us a slight boost in that three to five kilohertz range. At this point, the low frequency filter is turned off. Now I'll switch off that articulation switch and we'll bring in the low frequency filter again. This is with the articulation boost turned off and the low frequency filter on. And now I'll set both switches to their flat position. So this is the flat full range response of the SD-1 microphone. Now let's explore some of those channel presets that ship along with the SD-1 microphone. And again, you can load these up in the console as I'm doing here. To access presets in the console, we go up here to the little arrow at the top of the insert strip. And I've already loaded the SD-1 microphone presets. You can see there are an array of those here. We've got bass cabinet, we've got guitar, we've got kick drum, we've got piano and so on. But there are a couple of nice vocal recording presets as well. This one is for spoken word. If we click that, you can see that three plugins are pulled in with their presets already in place. We've got a 610 preamp, we have a Pultec EQ, and we have an 1176 compressor. And you can hear that that's brought my voice forward. It's controlled the bottom end a little bit. This would be great for narration or for general spoken word applications. Now we also have a preset. If we go back here for podcast, select that. The same plugins are loaded, but you can hear that the preset changed to give us a little bit thicker, fuller tone as you'd expect to hear in more of a broadcast application. And our final vocal preset for recording sung vocals. This has some uh, reverb on it as well, as you can hear there are some effects. And again, a little bit different EQ and voicing setup for the microphone using these preset plugins. So I've removed all the plugins. We're back to just the natural tone of the SD-1 with the filters disengaged. So we're just hearing the straight sound of the microphone. Those presets are using UAD plugins. So of course you do have to have UAD plugins to use those, but if you do, you can use console with any DAW that you like to load up these presets and record with those tones already in place. If you're looking for a versatile dynamic microphone that can cover vocals, whether spoken or sung, all sorts of instrument applications, this microphone sounds great on electric guitar, sounds great on kick drum, bass cabinet, just about any application you could think of. It even sounds fantastic on piano, especially when you use those plug-in presets as well. It's a very versatile microphone that comes in at a great price and gives you that industry standard performance that we all want to have for podcast, broadcast, and recording. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.